What's up, my fellow Fallen, or more likely random people from MC Tourney? This is Falak here, creator of Twisted Desert. I am on the 1.3.2 version of the map because there are very little differences. That was a random arrow noise that I get. Um, I'm going to address a few things first off. Um, I've been getting a lot of messages about the minecart track being broken in 1.2.5, and yes, it is 100% broken in 1.2.5. There's no tripwire. And the whole exit for the minecarts is broken because it relies on 1.3 uh, principles and that um, when you log off in an enclosed space, it will push you to the nearest area as demonstrated by Seth Bling in one of his videos. I can't remember the link. Also, forgive some noise. It's late at night, but I am by a busy road. Um, also, the redstone does get broken in 1.2.5. There is a um, a patch version. It's because of this right here. That just needs to be altered and changed a little bit. Some signals change. It's, it's not too hard and there's already a patch version. This is all done in my patch version. So there is absolutely no need to worry about anything like that. And also, uh, it has now been removed from both versions, but in these chests I had a map just as a, a random thing. Right there and there, if you pick these maps up, they will actually crash your game. So if you're in a version with those maps, don't Pick them up, and especially do not put it in your number one slot, because then you log on and it's in your number one slot, and you constantly uh, keep dropping. Yeah. So I also need to still fix this because I left the dispenser, even though they don't dispense correctly in the newer version. Um, now I will address the things that were changed in 1.2.5, although I'm in this. Also, single player commands is now out for 1.3.2. That's why I'm in 1.3.2. But yeah, this um, I'm going to start off with an overview and then maybe go into some developer commentary and such but um yeah we will do red lane so you would drop down from that trough up there and into this water which has been increased in depth now the first thing that you'll notice is that you're in this enclosed area and over here there is a bridging section now you have a few options now that well really your one and only main option is you have to go back this way you will, of course, dig through the fence or go under the fence or go over the fence, whatever you choose to do. And now we're going to look at these chests, of course. Some simple bow and arrow chest, bow, arrow, sword. This chest is pretty useful, and you get an ender pearl along with leather to make armor if you so choose. And lastly, shovels, which can be used to gather sand, and then you can use the sand to go over the mountain or turn it into sandstone. There are no longer ladders in here. There are also beds and torches. Torches are very important. There are zero bedrock rooms with a uh, any other block on the, the floor so that mobs can spawn on this map. So at night, things get crazy. That's also why the first wool is pretty crazy, but without it, there is not much challenge to the first wool at all. Up here is just a really limited bow thing. It used to be another full chest like the one over there, but I changed that. Also, on top of this right here and that one, or your equivalent, which is over there, there is um, an enterprise on both of those. Those can possibly be key to getting. Um, I'm going to go down the lane in the uh, standard fashion instead of dealing with ender pearls. This is the uh, Crying Creeper Mountain. Your victory monument is located up here. And this is a chest here, uh, bows, arrows, ender pearl. I do give quite a few of those, although all of them are spread out. I never give more than one at a time. And you would come through there or go over as I just did, ender pearl up there. Now when entering the village, First thing, there are items in this well here, right down here. Random uh, food, bows, torches, which are once again very useful. Uh, regular golden apples, and once again another ender pearl. Good to note. You need uh, your own way to get out, though. I do not supply it, but that's easily fixed with blocks. Then there's just chests, which in which I give um cobblestone and food. I don't think uh, just for an, um well in there there is a song in here. Stall. As you may remember from my Minecraft home ec with Kelly's uh, gay sex dungeon. If you don't know about that, don't ask. Uh, power one bow. Random flowers, because I felt like it. Because why not? And then you can enter this house. And in here, of course, there's an enchanting table and wood, which can be used for various many things. And torches, once again. There are quite a few torches, although spread out. Milk. That is very useful to remember for the third world dungeon because that is the only area on the map with cave spiders. So, let's see, in here, there's some blaze powder, which could be used for strength potions and such. There's also blaze rods in here. Important to note, 
that is the only place on the map with blaze rods. There are no blaze, and that's basically the only way, that actually is the only way, to get uh, a alchemy stand. Brewing stand, actually. Mm. This is Project Diamond. That's a throwback to X's Adventures in Minecraft with uh, David, if you don't know who he is. And uh, it was just a little, little joke I included. It has um, nothing directly related. And you just enter the mine. This is bows, I believe. No, it's a pick in, in uh, torches. This should be food, right? Yeah, food and torches again. And now this is one location with diamond. Now, this all has to be mined by hand. However, there uh, I'm not sure on the exact count. I did hand place it, though. But there's over 30, if I'm not mistaken. So that is important to note. Um, as you can see, though, there are these wool markers here. Those are for streamers. Um, you don't have to worry about that at all. I put them in a lot of locations since streamers often get confused when they're flying around and people are ender pearling and it gets all crazy. Oh, also, to address one more thing before I move on. Yes, you are allowed to ender pearl from your lane to another part of your lane. No, you're not allowed to ender pearl into the enemy lane. That is the equivalent of having to, uh, it's the equivalent of the void. You must avoid suicide if you land in the enemy lane. And no, you're not allowed to, say, for example, ender pearl from there and into the wool. You're not allowed to avoid bedrock barriers, even like that. So if you do that, that is also considered a death. So moving on. Um, also, 1.2.5, this would not be there. And these would all be regular. And uh, that gets changed, because these are the, the ones that can be burned, which are apparently a different ID. Okay, now here uh, is the farm. Lots of bread there. I do give a decent amount of food, but there's a lot of food there, too. Watermelon more, stone tools that you can use, and bones to quick grow crops or something. Now this is the first wool. And the first thing we're going to address is the torches here, which of course you will use because you have to go into each one of these outer pyramids, 2 and 3 and 4, and place a torch on the, uh, on the altar in there on the side that does not have the stone pressure plate. So, um, But first we're going to go down here, and I'm going to show you the iron. So these are where the iron blocks are. There are iron blocks in the Creeper Sphinx, which we will see later, but only two. And that's another bow chest. It's quite a bit of bows and arrows. I'm going to fall. That was almost bad. Um, apparently, a lot of the commands don't work for 1.3.2, so I cannot jump and do other very convenient things. That was a computer sound. Sorry about that. Uh, if it even picked it up. My mouse is weird. That's creepy Minecraft sound. So you'd put a torch here. It doesn't really matter if it goes against the wall. It still powers the torches above it correctly. So don't worry about that. Also, I'm not on a difficulty. Let's show what this this will be like. Hard, because why not? Let's um, let's give an example and let's see slash time day. Yeah, let's set this today and let's scroll away, fly away. I mean, and yeah, this is kind of what it'll be like. It usually gets more insane than this. I have torches down. Oh yeah, there go my frames. <laughs> That's how you know there's a lot of stuff. It's uh, it's a little crazy not it's not too bad and you'd be going up you can stack around it it doesn't matter how you get up there so that you can um and there are obsidian floors here for if creepers go crazy however you can fall through in the corners so i would suggest avoiding those if you can because you will fall um a good example in this pyramid right here mk uh mk325 the pedo bear uh, three pros, one cup, three pick, whatever you want to call it. He was over here, in this corner right here, fighting for his life, and a creeper blew up, and he fell through, and he would have just landed right here. Uh, probably still would have died, but he would have gotten his stuff. But right as he was falling, a skeleton shot him right out, and he just fell into the void, staring up, and I laughed. Because I love it when people die in my map. That was a really funny match. That was um, during beta testing. Okay, so after you place a item a torch on all of those altars you can then proceed to the top and enter in and you can push this button and get wool now it has been fixed see how there's 27 uh no matter how many times you push the button now you don't get any wool uh i learned a lesson about redstone here let me go through this double tick here see this repeater was like round here somewhere and apparently, even if something's powered, because the, the way you do this is you depower all of these, and that's what allows you to power the dispenser again. And I learned that um, apparently, even if the dispenser is already powered, it can be repowered, I guess. Um, 
it, it was a proximity thing because when I moved it away, it works perfectly fine. So the issue was that that was closer than those apparently. Um, as told to me by EuroPP, I don't completely understand it. Uh, because I am a redstone noob and hardly fiddle with it. I, I may get into this in my dev commentary at the end, but I'm going to cover everything here first before I go on my ranting raving part so that the people from MC Tourney don't have to listen to my madman ravings if they don't want to. Okay, from the wool, you would proceed on. And there is, of course, the library. And this is your enchanting central right here. It's all up here. This is a lot of enchanting materials. Once again, you'll notice there is no alchemy stand. I do give the ability to make several different kinds of potions. Um, I do not seem to give sugar cane. But there are sugar canes in the thing. That's an issue. I might have to uh, release a new update without that block. If it's not in both lanes. Uh, if you notice, I do give sugar cane over there, though, so you can make your own potions. This is an important part of the map because it is TNT. Uh, this doesn't have a, an actual name, this is Pyramid, that's just Creeper Sphinx. I do kind of call it the TNT Paradise uh, area though. All of the TNT on the map is right here and right there, a stack each. So that's very important to note. This is kind of where you want to go. It can be reached, right, from, it's relatively near to spawn um, if you get creative with Ender Pearls. And there's a lot of torches, bows, bed further on the lane in case your beds get blown up or something. Now every one of these, these are, I guess you could call them a sarcophagus. Uh, this is sarcophagus. And there's golden apple, random sword. Those cobwebs actually can come in handy though for fighting mobs. So that's something to note. And moving on, this is the creeper sphinx. And it has both TNT and a good bow. And is the entrance to the uh, second wool, rise and fall. The first wool is called hollow, by the way. I don't think I said that. That is the two iron. I moved it there because some people were getting completely shut down without iron, and they had to go mine it, and it's rather tedious. That will at least give you something, so it's not a complete shutout. This is the rest of the TNT. Uh, you can do a lot with this. You can make workbenches and all sorts of other stuff. This is where I moved the ladders that were once at spawn also. And then this is a punch one, flame one bow with a 35 shots, I imagine, tentatively, some, something somewhere around there. Um, if I had to guess, it's, it's around 30-something. I just give a lot of arrows just because, um, but yeah, that's there. Also, let me let me drop these before I click on them like an idiot at some point. Okay, and now that's just regular Creeper Sphinx. This hole right here leads to the diamond and also gives you a ton of wood. As you can tell, this is a desert, hence Twisted Desert, and there are no trees because that wouldn't make much sense in the desert. Even at an oasis, I didn't really want to do it. I gave those palmish, palm kind of tree looking things. And so the diamond is here, and also a ton of wood. Another bow chest. And um, obviously the location to see that from is the village. This is obviously blue. Yours is way over there. And there is nothing here. Um, see, the obviously my first wheel right there or over there is very similar to Uncivil Engineering's. Um, that was actually my inspiration because I made the vertical towers and then realized and put the wheel at the top. And I'm like, wait, why would anyone rise up through all the towers? I mean, how can I make them do that? I'm like, wait, I really liked what Uncivil Engineering did, and I decided to do that, except instead of 3, it's 4. So it's kind of like a joke to that. If you may remember, right after going over the pyramid, there's a part where there's uh, glowstone in the water, and there's items under that. So I just did that. There's nothing there, though. That was just a joke for people who never understood it. This is a dig site, and each one of these dig sites has an item. It's an efficiency 10 that's actually damaged. Um, should not be damaged. I don't know how it got damaged. But that's really, um, doesn't matter. It's it's completely useless. It's really just a, a joke. It's like an artifact. Efficiency 10 shovel, but once again, golden, so it, it doesn't really work. And now this is a power to bow with probably once again about 30. Maybe I did give 32 shots. I gave 32 arrows. I might have just given a half a stack and it has 35, though. I'm weird like that. You're going to learn I'm one of the most forgetful derby uh, map makers ever. Regular golden apples and then one really good OP golden apple. And 1.2.5, this is just a regular golden apple, so you will not be receiving this in RMCT unless it is played in 1.3. If it is, it is the only one on the map. There are no gold blocks. That's it. So don't die with it. Be careful. And then just bows and arrows. And now this is the third wool, but um, I guess I'll go do a run through of second wool because I realized I looked at the entrance but did not enter it because, once again, I'm one of the derpiest map makers around. And on here, you would come down the staircase and you enter. Of course, mobs can spawn. If you come through during the day with all the lighting, it's, it's usually not too bad. 
This is just to spawn mobs. There's there's nothing in here. Mobs don't even really spawn in there. It can also be a hideout if you're getting shot. So you can use that to your own advantage. Right here, um, you just go through the glass. There's nothing around there. This is just a loop around. Uh, it's kind of like an idiot test, really. Uh, this is me being evil. Uh, I'll, I'll get into this in dev commentary, though, but um, I decided not to change it. But yes, so you get enough ladders, but they're all scattered. Um, I would recommend just breaking the ladder and stacking up unless you want to fix the ladders. And you'd come over, and then you would go down here. You can drop water buckets if you want. Um, it is set up so that the water buckets will be as fast as lava. The water does pour out, though. So you kind of have to be careful of that. But um, it does obsidianize and everything. And this is a bed spawn. I don't know if this will be enforced in RMCT3. But one of the tentative rules for casual play is that you are not allowed to set spawns, uh, your own beds, in the wool rooms. So that's something to note. And there's a skeleton spawner up here. Skeletons can drop down. Skeletons can spawn right in here. Watch out, I guess. And uh, yeah, so that is a checkpoint, kind of, if you're here at night and if that rule is going to apply. Here's a rising section. And here is a falling section. And this is kind of uh, Arcane Realms-ish. Um, just not as hard. There's only four spawners um creeper skeleton zombie creeper and they will drop and really during the day uh i don't even think it's dark enough for anything let's see what the light levels are no according to this the block light level is far than more than low enough am i on a no difficult i should be on a difficulty it's just not spawning anything interesting yeah it should be dark enough what well, also says this is nine and this sh shouldn't be nine that's interesting Oh, it's probably things up there, lowering le uh, light levels. Yeah, whatever. Moving on. This is where you rise. And then you have this shot. This is the last little lava part. You can block it all off, but you can potentially get shot in. And ah, I'm dying. Yep. And then the wool. And there's just lava up and above. Um, There shouldn't really be any skips in here. Cyan wool. The other one was green wool, as you saw when I opened the dispenser. You can do pass arounds. Um... I'm not sure if you can reach all the way from here, but uh, you can. Oh, you can't break this out actually. Well, you could pass it there in a chest. Uh, if you broke some of the obsidian, you can do it here. As you can see, though, there is bedrock, but it is possible to pass around. It doesn't go too far, but basically, it makes it so you don't just get it after doing nothing. Because I, I never really liked that about maps. So this, this is a personal thing. So that's there, and then you escape. And now third wool is uh, very. Slippery slope. Uh, I'm a big fan of Thungan's maps, hence my uh, first release map, CE, was it was uh, divided together 2.0, I guess. Well, I don't know if I should call it that. I don't know if it was really the the same in equivalency. But uh, once again, there's oop, items in here. This is uh, golden armor. It kind of gets torn up fast. In a stone sword, it used to be golden, but it would get broken so fast anyways. It it wasn't really worth it. So I decided to up it to stone. Yeah, and you would dig through all of this, and you could dig straight, and you need to go over there. That's just a pit stop slash safe area. Now, down here is too thick. Um, some of you guys might not have the correct version. Um, during my patchings of the dig arounds, um, I changed a lot of this, and I actually made this all bedrock, so it was all one, one thick, and I didn't want that. So all through here and up to here is too thick. So you can dig straight down and go through a safe area unless they TNT you. And then, of course, you enter into here. Also, all of these, uh, the sarcophagus, they have sarcophagi. I don't even know. That sounds stupid, though, so that doesn't sound right. Creeper. And this is the rest of the armor and a power one bow. Uh, quickest way to light this up, break that. Just, yeah, if you want to get some light. Uh, I don't think it's very effective, but it's enough to slow them down. Uh, come down here. This is just mood lighting. It doesn't affect anything. It's, uh... Another rack up there with it loops around. Comes out of there. Um, this was the dig around from the P PGM uh, versus RMCT. It was this right here, I believe, was gone. Uh, I also filled in all the corners now, too. Uh, it's not double thick because that's not necessary, like for the first wool, because there's no redstone involved. There was also a dig around right here that is now gone. So, yeah. And yeah, once again, creepers spawner in there. There's creeper spawner in the one up above, too. So you have to watch out if you're checkpointing there. Now, when you round this corner, it's awful. This room is just awful. Spawners, Enderman, Zombie, Cave Spider. This room is like my giant middle finger in your face room. 
enjoy. Also, you can blow up your own wool. It's kind of hard because I added this um, obsidian, and it's obsidian all the way down. That's obsidian. Um, I can't use slash light despite my single player commands because apparently that is not a command that is working. So let's just uh, let's slap down some torches. Yeah. So it is. It's very hard to do. Also, you can't really dig because obsidian very slow and this is all only one thick so you have to walk through here uh i love you too um based on your comments that you probably just thought to yourself this was two creeper spawners i was nice i, I removed one i'm a good guy and black wool it's missing four because you are allowed to take these uh if you were wondering about that and that's the last wool there are no pass arounds down here corners are filled so you can't TNT through, but who knows? I'm rather forgetful. So feel free to search. Uh, they could be there, and if you find it, uh, you get to use it. Won't be there forever, but you can use it in your match, so good for you. Pass rounds are right out here anyway, so really, I, I, I don't even know if I would bother patching that, because you have, to, you have to go out here anyways, and boom, pass some wool around, do whatever if you make it this far. Enjoy. Uh, this is solid, so you can't pass it around in the middle. Once again, wool for viewing. And that's about all there. Um, that's it for the map overview. I won't really discuss strategy. One, because I am on cock blockers for this tournament. Uh, possibly for the next few months and probably through most of RMCT number three. Then I will probably be uh, back with Mine Inc. Although we will be looking for a new member. Um, if you're a member, and you, uh, if you're a race world player and you're currently without a team, we may be recruiting just a heads up. But yeah, so I'm going to start with dev commentary. So if you're not interested in that, you can leave right now. And that'll be the end of it. So if you're leaving now, I'll see you next time and stay classy. Well, okay, now that those squares are gone. Uh, this map, I worked on this map for so long. I don't remember what exactly inspired me. Uh, I guess, I guess it was, um, I, I call this a semi-new concept. Um, I've never seen any other maps exactly like this, but I only call it semi-new because there have been there have been lanes before that aren't standard lane deviations. Uh, but I don't know. One day I was just sitting there. I'm like, how can I how can I make something different? You know, I wanted I wanted something not standard because I I was already making a standard map. Um, Frost Plunge at the time that was my first map I ever started on. And I, I got through most of it, and I'm like, you know what? I, I feel like this is just Direct Fire Remake, you know? And, and that's not really what I wanted, so I kind of lost interest in that, and I just picked this up, and I went to town. And um, when I first started, really, all I had was I had this area right here. Oh, by the way, this is all half slabs. I don't think I addressed that. Um, And this mountain. That was it for the longest time. That's all I had. And the creeper was crying. I liked it. I'm like, oh, look how pretty that is. I'm so amazing. But not really. Um. And I didn't even have a victory monument up here. There was nothing up here. And I just I just couldn't get inspired for the wolves. I had I had nothing. And then I'm sitting there thinking, uh, well, because I, I knew I kind of wanted a desert theme. I kind of, I put up a vote with my friends, and I'm like, well, I could do, like, jungle ruins, or I could do desert. And then 1.1 came out. Was it 1.1? Might have been 1.2, where it added all of these new sandstone blocks. And instantly I'm like, nope, <laughs> your vote doesn't matter. They added new sandstone desert theme. And that is why this map is Twisted Desert and not Twisted Jungle. True story. And so I kind of knew that I wanted desert theme. And so I'm like, well, what says desert? I'm like, well, I get pyramids, you know, why not? And so I kind of, I constructed a pyramid, and it was just half of this, and it looked really stupid. So I went to MC Edit, and I flipped them upside down and stacked them into, uh, like, diamonds. So they're not actually pyramids, but I call it a pyramid. Hollow is what I what I consider it. There are a bunch of pyramids. And then, of course, it, it looked basically just like this, except I didn't have the torches. And I was kind of like, well, why would I even do the wool? I would just go right up to the top and hit the button. You know, why would, why would I ascend through all these rooms? I would just go, like, right here in this corner, and I would just stack straight up from the bottom. You know, that's, that's the easiest way by far. And so I made a way to do that, and I was thinking about the best way to make players do that, and the only way I could think to do that was with dispensers and redstone. And so that's what inspired me to do this while thinking about Uncivil Engineering. And I made that. Um, this will basically taught me no more redstone ever. Uh, I had so much frustration because, not because it's necessarily, well, one, I'm, I'm 
rather redstone incompetent, and two, I didn't do it right to begin with. Uh, there was, sorry, I, I was checking my recording. Um, there was so much I should have been doing right from the start that would have made this so much easier that I didn't do. Like, I didn't double thick the, the bedrock. Uh, you could, you could get straight in and you could actually power the lines and see, I, I broke that repeater because I don't care because I'm getting rid of this version anyways. And, uh, it was just awful. So this, this wool has changed so much and frustrated me. If I ever do a dev commentary on close encounters, you will learn things that I will never do again, um, there as well, which also involve redstone. That one came after this one. And yeah, so uh, just the bedrock, I messed up a lot. The whole issues with the dispensers that just happened where I had to move the repeater, I didn't even know about that. Um, just so many issues. So I added this in, added that, and then I had three things. I had that, that, and that. This village did not come until really, really late in the game. Uh, I know I wanted a library at some point. Uh, I didn't know if it was going to be impressive because, I mean, I only had 16 blocks to work with because these are all 16 by 16 chunks stacked around in a loop. And I was like, well, I guess I'll, I'll give it like a chunk, you know, to kind of work with. And that's what I did. And it's just a little mini library. There's there's no significance to it other than I felt like adding a library. I, th I think it looks pretty nice, though. So. Um, this pyramid was added much later to fill space, really. Um, I ended up adding more TNT there. I actually didn't completely mean to make all the TNT here. The TNT was very deliberately placed, though. I wanted the TNT accessible, but not near the start. Because if it was down there or in this village getting it back there would be really easy well if it was in the village for you because this red lane is way over there it would be so easy to get and then blow up the diamonds because originally i actually had it in this village which i added as one of the last things and it was in that house right there and um, i wasn't thinking because all you have to do is look right down there and the diamond's gone in like two seconds i mean who wouldn't blow up the diamond instantly if you got tnt right there so I kind of put it in a further place that was still accessible very quickly. So you can get you get two stacks of TNT, which actually on this map, since everything is sand and sandstone, it is insanely devastating. You can trench this map fairly well. Uh, during the matches I saw, people tended to can in the corners, which to me doesn't make much sense. Because unless you trench three chunks, unless you get that, that, and that, all I had to do was do this. Like, what was the point? Like, I remembered watching the match and, um... Uh, it's Martin, uh, the live streamer and Euro PP member, if I'm not mistaken, was like, you know, they're going to have a tough time getting through here. Um, it was over there at the, the the first wool, and it was right in front. They blew up the redstone torches and other things. I, I assume they did. Um, I was kind of skipping around because I heard someone had found an exploit. But um, yeah, so like it was blown up really badly through here. And he's like, he's going to have a hard time traversing this. And I just think to myself, well, one, you can, you can pillar up. And two, boom. Like, that's still your lane. Like, you don't, you don't even have to leave your lane. I'm on all the blocks, so I'm like, that's it's not really that bad. I don't know. This is a personal thought. I mean, nothing against him. I mean, I'm I'm sure he was he was probably referring to the wool anyways. Uh, but yeah. So that's that. Um, creeper sphinx. Uh, I added because I was also after I added the pyramid. This was actually the next thing because I made all the wools first. Although after I made first wool, I really I dropped it for the longest time because I was just sitting there, you know, and I'm thinking, well, I have uh, this new layout. Let's let's get some new wools. And I was trying to make this map something. I, I couldn't really make it. I just didn't have the ideas. I I had no inspiration. I mean, and even these wools aren't inspiring because I got to the point where I'm like, you know what? You know, j just release something that's fun. It, I mean, it can be semi semi innovative, uh, different, but it it doesn't have to be completely 100% something insane. I mean, I already have the, the twist working for it. Why add more twists? So I kind of just uh, moved on and I kind of accepted that I, I couldn't really make it at this point in time. Uh, that's that's just not that's just not the level I'm at because this is one of my first maps. And so I was listening to a band, uh, Cold Rain. Uh, they're post-hardcore screamo, so don't look them up if you don't like that kind of stuff. Um, although it's, it's mostly cleans and very melodic and nice and he has a good voice but um yeah and i was listening to their uh albums while flying around the map making general stuff and little touches like i was making the oasis and stuff and i was listening to some of their music and um the song i was listening to was hollow and i'm like hmm i could name the pyramid that because i was trying to think of a, a name for that like a tentative name just to fill some space at the time and i'm like yeah hollow and then i'm like well i wanted to make this and this was actually originally going to be a restricted wool in which you are not allowed to place blocks uh so well like not uh very many until you reach in it was gonna be a really weird confusing rule that everyone probably would have hated and uh 
And that's how come the ladders are the way they were. Originally, this was like a parkour thing. You had to like jump through it. And then I'm like, you know what? Let's just make this a standard PvP wool. And then I'm like, well, what am I going to call it? And I had to drop and rise a lot. I'm like, and they had another song called Rise and Fall. So I'm like, well, there we go. Rise and Fall. And these are pass ROMs, by the way. But yeah, and then the last will, of course. Then that completely inspired the last will, which is Final Destination, which is like an underground ruins of a pyramid in which you go and get the will from a sarcophagus. So Final Destination. And I just thought that was pretty good. Um, This thing right here, this used to be the end of world prediction sign. Um, I had to remove it because it, it came with issues with um adjusting the lanes. But there used to be a sign on the back that said 2012. Also, that's a creeper face. I don't know if you noticed that from the front. There's a lot of creeper spaces on this map. There's one on the back of the mountain that reflects the crying creeper. But yeah, so creeper face there. And um, it's kind of hard to see on this side, but it's still there. And so it said 2012 on the back, just a little joke because I was bored. New gravel texture that I hate. This is like a road that would be here if land wasn't derpy. Um, filling space on this map was was very hard for me. Uh, it, it doesn't seem that long. Um, I don't know exactly how long it is. Maybe um, one day I'll make a video of untwisted desert where it's just like the straight shot and it'll look so boring because there's so much empty space where it'd just be people running through a desert where it would seem really stupid if there wasn't things beside it. But yeah, see, and there's um the other creeper right there. It uses the uh, the hieroglyphic creeper faces, which is what's in there. And uh, yeah, so also this mine was not here. All the diamond used to be in one spot and all the iron used to be in one spot and there was no resources anywhere. This came later. I added this and then decided yeah that was good but then i added this mine as well and that's why there's iron in two places although there's not very much iron here there's there's a ton of iron there and uh i split up the diamonds it was a suggestion from nick 244 also a member from cock blockers and he was like you know don't put all the diamonds here i mean it's gonna blow up this also when i had the tnt in there too and he noticed that right away it was something i didn't notice um when you're a map maker that there that's an issue with uh mc edit um when you're a map maker there's a lot of things that you just you just don't think about because uh you know you're you're up so close and you're looking at it under a microscope and you're so zoomed in that you just you don't see the big picture sometimes at least me I, i'm not gonna quote every map maker ever because I, I don't know what their opinion is but that's what i was doing personally i was just i was so like uh, i wouldn't say obsessed but just looking at one thing uh because it's like 3 a.m and well 2 a.m and i can't think of words and uh so I just I just wasn't doing too well. And uh, then having a fresh perspective, because when I put this out for beta, I, I couldn't get anyone to play. Like, I would get, like, four people or five people, or I would get seven. And then, like, one person would have to leave. And right when one person would leave, one person would join, where I would have had eight had they just been able to stay, like, half an hour longer. And it was so frustrating. But all those people really helped me. Um, That's why I have the, the thank you sign. There's a lot of people up there who actually didn't play. They were, like, server hosts, like uh, Jakash98 and uh, Ed H. I believe, um, I, I can't quote the names right off the top of my head, like, they hosted the server for me and got a lot of people on here, and they looked at it, like, they found a lot of issues with the first wool that taught me no more redstone ever, and, uh, issues with map difficulty and map spawning and the, the track system that was, um, later made by Traslander, uh, he has a video about it, I'll, I'll link the track system if you're interested, I also use it later on in one of my own maps, but I made it myself, um, after he showed me some stuff, but, uh, it's, it's a nice track system. Uh, but yeah, so I mean, there was just so much help from, from so many people. I mean, there, there is a pretty big community thing. Um, it's a, it's a fairly big sign. And then other people just played it and just let me see the things I liked and the things I didn't like personally and, and the things I was okay with. There were a lot of things that I didn't account for that I, I'm perfectly fine with because, you know, I, I like this to adapt. I mean, you can't, I, I felt I couldn't be too restrictive. I mean, I felt I had to be fairly restrictive. Like I was with the dig arounds at the third wool and pass rounds in a, in a certain way and the placing of the torches but i in, in a fun way i mean yeah you have to place the torches but i mean you can go about it any way you want you can go up through the pyramids if you want you can you can stack up the sides although you might get shot you can ladder up you can water bucket down or anything you really want you can just dig straight up along the back and drop in from the top you don't have to go through the doors you know you want to drop in lava or something that you get from well, probably the this, I don't know, somewhere. I don't. I, I might give a lava bucket. I don't even remember. Uh, if anything, there's lava, obviously, in the second. And, you know, you want to drop lava in there to light it up and go in, um, feel free. I mean, there's no spawners. It's all natural spawning. So, really, when you get up here and you kill things, lighting up is pretty pointless. Because this is, this is all solid obsidian. There's not a single spawner in here. I'm actually really spawner light. 
there's not a single spawner in here or the second wool or anywhere else on the map except the third wool. The third wool is the only place on the map with spawners, and they only spawn Endermen, Zombies, I believe, and Cave Spiders, and all oh, Creeper spawners, of course, are plentiful in there. There are no um, Creeper spawners in there. I said they were in all the sarcophagus, but the sarcophagi, whatever thing, words. But, uh, yeah, they are not. They are not in here. That'd be awful. But yeah, see, at night, it gets pretty crazy. Also, zombies kept knocking these doors down. I hate zombies. They can go die. Okay, that's in both lanes. I'm good. Sure, let's leave that. That's a, that's a thing. I was probably closing the door with a stone block in my hand, and it was an accident when I was fixing the doors for the millionth time, because if I accidentally left a difficulty on, because I normally play on hard, when I join in, zombies would tear down my doors and make me mad. That's, uh, I don't know, that's really all I, I had to say. I mean, this is a standard dig site, ruins, um, that was just a weird monolithic pillar. My frames are dropping. Fun. Uh, I'm gonna do an overview of another one of my maps right after this. It will be posted tomorrow as well. Uh, I haven't really been doing many videos because I've, I've had this cough for the longest time. It's still there. It's gotten better, but like, I don't know, it's so annoying and I was coughing like every five minutes. Even right now, my throat is is really sore. But um, it's all called Castle Crashers, and so that'll be up next. It won't be a dev commentary. It'll be like an overview of the map. It'll be much shorter than this. Um, but yeah, so that's all I have to say about this. I, I may come back to this one day. Um, I'm definitely not done making maps. I have two maps that are on the way. One I'm currently working on. One I'll be working on after that. Um, I also may be doing a map with Greg. Although if you subscribe to my channel for a long time, you you know Greg. Chances of that happening are pretty low. If he doesn't contact me in like a month after I've messaged him several times, well, he contacts me, but if he doesn't get his butt moving, basically, as you know, I would like, but um, if he doesn't do that, uh, I'm probably just going to use the ideas because we had some really good ideas we hashed out. I mean, he brought more ideas than I did. I just kind of elaborated on certain ones, but um, there were a lot of good ideas that I would really like to see in Race Rule that I've never seen before. But yeah. So, we have all those to look forward to. I may come up with more after that. Um, after I constructed new wool ideas or seen things I, I really like or have some big moment of inspiration. But yeah, so see you guys next time. And until then, stay classy.